What is up everybody, welcome back to another video. It is Owl here back with another video. Oh, okay, that's too close. My bad. But, today I have a different type of video. We are back on my game. And I have very big news, so I actually saw uh, Sergeant Pebbles on YouTube doing TGC News. Big shout out to him, by the way. Go check out TGC News now. Um, I saw him do a video, and so this is kind of be similar to it. This is a one-time thing. I'm just doing it once because of the big update that's about to come out for my game. Yes, you heard it right. Big update. And this video is basically going to be going through that, so let's get into it. So, um, first part of it is you guys have already probably seen this in-game, but it's quests. So you walk up to your quest master. Normally you would have quests. We're going to be having daily quests, so that means every day you log on from basically... 3.30 today, so basically tomorrow, here on out, we're going to have daily quests that you guys will be able to do and complete for XP to gain, get your levels up. And levels, based on um, how high you are, will have different perks for how high you are, so I'm just going to get that out of there. So now, oh goodness, that scared me, okay, um, but anyways, the second part of the update, we have, multi we have multiple parts. I just wanted to go through all this before release, so we don't have confusion on how certain things work, so... Uh, Second part is, you guys may have also saw this in maybe a leaked GIF or picture or whatever, but we are releasing uh, the ISD Cruiser or Imperial Star Destroyer, right, whichever you one you want to call currently it. in the ISD or Imperial Star Destroyer here. At the front of the ship, we currently have eight operable turrets operated in the um, bridge here. Let's go ahead and show you one. This is the left frontal cannon. Packs eight total turrets. Eight operators will be needed to operate at full capacity. And we have one driver that sits in the middle here and drives the this big beast. And it doesn't move fast. You know, no no star destroyer should. Doesn't turn fast. Exactly how we like it. Turns about five whatever per minute. Or, yeah, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying, but, uh, yeah, this is the ISD. I'm happy to introduce cruisers to the game. Um, unfortunately, we have to keep the size down to a certain size. And this is our size limit, pretty much. So this is, all the other cruisers will be this size, just different shapes and designs, of course. They have to be this size in order to reduce lag. And actually, this has been lag tested. Great lag test there's no lag whatsoever you just have to wait for it to load in before you spawn it which is not a big deal and even if you do that it's still gonna spawn correctly it's just gonna load some parts in afterwards but uh yeah it's it works great not sure how the hyperspace works but uh we'll test that now um it doesn't go all the way to the planet it will go about halfway because of its size again because it's moving so many parts so quickly yeah, you guys can see there it doesn't move it all the way but it moves it about halfway but uh Hyperspace works pretty good for the size of this ship. Um, we'll go ahead and slow down here and show you the rest. We will be adding more to the interiors of these cruisers very soon. But for now, this is about it. You have your hangar here. It may look a little bit weird because it's so di like so small, but um, it doesn't really matter because, like I said, we have to keep the size down. You can still fit Mando transports in here, and that's actually how you will enter the ISD if you're not already inside. So um, that's the easiest way. We'll go 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 ahead and go back to the bridge here. Oh, almost got in the there, but uh, yeah. I just really like the ship, and I can't wait to see this in battles. And we're working on making space battles even better. Like. Honestly, but right, yeah, guys, we are in studio currently. I'm going to be showing you two things in studio, but the first one is Banks. This is be this will be the first bank that releases. This is going to be the Mandalore Sundari City Bank. Let's go ahead and head in here. So to our left here, we have a very, very simple design for the bank. But to our left here, we currently have an ATM. Pops right up. You choose the player you want to give your money to. And you can put the price in. And that transfers the credits to that player's account. Then over to our right, we have the actual bank robbery. So you will be able to buy a lockpick in the shop out there, like in the weapon shop, and use it for this robbery. So 
I will demonstrate now how it works. So you walk up to the door with the lockpick, you click, and it will bring up this little contraption. So you basically have to click unlock on all these dots correctly. I have to get it, you know, timed right to unlock this door and start the bank robbery. This last one successfully unlocked. All right, now it sounds the alarm. Climb this ladder. Do a second lock pick. Let's go and demonstrate here. Boom, boom. Oh, and you also have a chance of the lock pick breaking. I forgot to mention that. Okay, let's try that again. Lock pick time. Okay, so we got to get this open. This is the final vent before you get into the actual vault part. Successfully unlocked. You break the vent, and now you got to get past the lasers. I didn't make it too hard for you guys because I know a lot of you are new to the game, and I just want to make it pretty simple. So, you then collect your gold. You hold E to rob the money and it will be 5,000 times how many people are in the uh, in the actual server so it's 5,000 times how many people are in the server you get your duffel bag look at the code on the ground it will be different every time so ours is 7523 that will uh, you gotta remember that to open the door click here 7523 click here to confirm opens the door and we're out now we have to go deliver the money and get our cut at our little, uh, what do you call it, um, job master, if you want to call it whatever, our bank seller. Go up, boom. Blah blah has successfully robbed the bank, it is now wanted. So, by robbing the bank, you are wanted. And that brings us to our next part. The, as soon as you rob the bank, you get a bounty put on your head. And that brings us to bounties. This is the third part of the update we're going to be releasing. And uh, this is something I've been wanting to release for a while, but we've just now been able to do it. So let's go and take a look. So yes, you get a bounty put on your head, but you can also place bounties on other players. So we click this, put our player name in, put how much we want to set on their head. It has to be more than 20,000, um, just to prevent like pointless cheap bounties. But uh, yeah, it has to be more than 20,000. Put the player name there, click submit, and normally it would say, you know, it's submitted, but that will put a bounty on their head, it notifies everybody in the server, so for all you notorious bounty hunters, or bounty hunters in general, or if you're looking to become one, it notifies you. So as soon as you go up and kill that person, you will get wired. Another big credit. part of this update will be the planet of Naboo. If many of you not have, have not already noticed, it has gotten a big-ass expansion. It's going to be flat with, or straight with it. Um, it's got a big expansion if you if no one's already noticed, but uh, a couple things I'd like to point out on the um, expansion of Naboo. This is the Founder's Mansion. Now, it's not just my personal mansion. It is, but it isn't. I'm going to be featuring this as sort of like a memory hall or museum or TGC, and we're going to be putting all our memories in there so this game can live forever. So we'll just, uh, this will be open very soon, working on the inside currently. Just like to let everybody know what that is, so they don't go wondering all day what it is, but uh, yeah. And let's go ahead and get a quick overview of Naboo. So let's get high enough. So this is like the actual city. It got a huge expansion, two cantinas, multiple weapon dealers, tons of new stuff to do. Quest dealers located near the palace. And we have two sides. We have two forest sides, multiple bridges, planes on either side. And this is probably one of my favorite parts of it. Right there is the quest um, for the uh, missing part, scavenger quest, whatever you want to call it, crashed Imperial shuttle. But uh, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the Nimbu update. I will show you guys here. Hold on. It was the waterfalls. If I can get over here quick enough, I can show you all of it. Alright, so this is the waterfalls. We added uh, about one, two, three, four, five waterfalls. If you guys recognize this from Naboo Battlefront 2 or even just general Naboo clips from the movie, you guys will know that there's five waterfalls at the back and the palace kind of extends off a cliff here. So we wanted to make Naboo a lot more realistic, but it is now and it's very big, so there's plenty of stuff to do. We'll be hosting multiple events. In fact, we will be hosting an Imperial Parade on here later today with our ad launch. By the way, we're going to be doing one of our biggest ad launches yet, so I'd like to see all of you on, if you know, if you can, only if you can, but I'd like to see everybody on if possible, so I expect about 
150 to 200 playing with the amount of ads we're launching so we'll see how that goes hopefully it goes good but uh yeah if you guys did enjoy this video uh i just want to inform you of all this big update and you guys will find some of the other stuff i didn't include in this video um, very soon i will see you all later make sure to drop a like subscribe peace